welcome back everybody to another Kickstarter episode 4 now. Um, I just got my keys for a little game I funded way back ago, which is called The Stomping Land. The Stomping Land basically pits you as a caveman-esque creature in a, on a giant island full of dinosaurs and you have to survive. It's uh, base, its primary focus is actually on, on multiplayer. This is a multiplayer um, server, but in a minute I'll uh, explain why I'm not too friendly around um, other players here. Had some bad experience with it, let's say it's just that. Um, and here you just see I'm desperately trying, as I will do in the whole video, to get this, um, or get one of these dinosaurs with my bowlers, so, oh, you heard that? That's a predator. There are different kinds of um, dinosaurs. The one I've just hunted is a, is a carnivore, uh, is, 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 a, is a herbal feeder, so he's not really interested in, in killing me, but over there, that's an aggressive. I've called him the the evil one for lack of a, of the proper um, for the lack of a of, for the proper name. As you can see, I just shot him. Otherwise, he's he's running up to you and bouncing you around with his with his giant um, bone head, and you take about two um, you take about uh, about two hits and then you're dead. There's another one over there, so... <clears throat> so, this runs on the Unreal Engine, and basically, if you're familiar with the, the starting situation of DayZ, then you basically know what... Um, the, basically, the, uh, the Stomping Land does as well. You wake up on the island here, on the beach of the island, you have a, just a little axe and you have to basically do all the things, or, uh, make all your tools and, and build all the things that they need. Um, eventually you can band together with other players, there you see the assassin has died and there's an, the little note X to T6 means basically that you roughly know where he is. and. Uh, or that, that where he did level wise, so six is isn't very far. Um, I think I'm, when I'm dying here at the end of the video, um, I'm about at 130. So you will see assassin die a lot, just to, to tell you uh, before. So I'm building some some rope here and some arrows to restock my ammunition. I have um, to, uh, taken the meat from the dinosaur, which is light meat, which is just yeah just just average meat there's light meat and there's heavy meat heavy meat is is only um, can only be um, gotten harvested from an from the corpse of a, of a large um, dinosaur and large dinosaurs are basically you know, impervious to your um, arrows so you have to either Build elaborate traps, or um, wait for um, dinosaur to for two to um, for sorry for two large dinosaurs to battle it out, and then basically go it there. You can see I've built a little hut here um, with two resource stacks. Basically, one is for it's my building materials here. There's wood in there, and the other one is um, for the meat. There you have a little cooking place where you have to cook the light meat to eat it. Um, basically this fire uh, at night um, gives away your position pretty much, so I've built my hut here, or my teepee as it's called, um, higher he up here on the, on this um, hillside, and uh, hopefully that way I won't be easily uh, s uh, seen here. Oh, there's another player, and 
you have to be very careful in this game because what I found out in the hard way in the first time I played this, I've played this roughly uh, three to four hours beforehand already on another server, but um, I had a little tribe going with two guys at the end, but the normal um, behavior of, of players is, is obviously, he hasn't seen me so I'm remaining still so that he doesn't attack me. I don't want to pick a fight right now. I'm just getting some rocks here. There's another one. Over there, yeah. Um, the basic behavior of, of enemy players is um, if they see you, they e either shoot you with, with arrows or club you with this, uh, 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 kill you with a spear or they, if they're, um, if they don't have anything like that handy, they um, tie you up. They, you can tie um, your other players up and then drag you into the uh, into the ocean so that you suffocate. So uh, I'm I tried this several times and it, finally I've just given up because um, even when we had we were three people, we had like like three huts here. With with our own um, fireplace and everything, still guys would um, try to sneak up on us and try to snipe us with with arrows, and it's simply this is something that I, where I simply said, okay, you know what, um, for this testing video because I don't want to show you how I'm being dragged into the the ocean because I, I personally I dislike just shooting everybody on sight. Um, I thought, okay, we'll, make the, uh, we'll stay alone in this one. As you can see, I'm very much here in the um, thick of the um, dino, I don't know, traveling roads. There you can see, I can when you're gathering up resources, you, you get different um, items that you can build. You can build either um, spears, you can build shields, you can build bowlers, you can build bow and arrow. Um, you can build these teepees, which act, uh, act as a respawn point when you die as well. So when I'm when I'm getting knocked out here by a um, dinosaur, and this normally happens a lot um, to uh, to new players, um, you basically get spawned here. Oh, and there you see again. Our uh, friend, the assassin. He's not a very good assassin, is he? Um, you get to respawn in your TP here, and you can uh, later on you can build totems, which is basically like your like a um, post where you can where people can join your your tribe, and you when you're a tribe you're supposed to hunt together, and the, all the all of that stuff you can you got. Um, Cages later on because um, with cages you can actually um, capture certain dinosaurs and make them um, your mounts or um, capture enemy players if you want to. Um, I've yet to see one of the bigger um, dinosaurs, but that's basically because I'm. Currently, I'm still at, at a level where I just build some um, basic stuff here and try to trying out how to to use it. And before I'm not, I'm with a with a bow. I'm quite proficient now, but um, the timing for to use a spear or to to use something else um, is very good. Yes, um, sorry, it's now getting very dark. Um, this is the these uh, these are the knights, and you have to be extremely careful because a you can't really see um, other players around here, and you can't really make a fire because that stands stands out. So I see if I can bump up the. The image a little bit here for it so you, that you can see a little bit more because this is really dark and 
as I said, this is uh, currently in early access on Steam. So this you can basically, I think it, it's it's about twenty dollars. So you can get the you, know, you can get a a version for you and. So you can see now I'm can uh, you can build torches of course, but the problem with torches is again um, in an environment where you're where a the uh, certain dinosaurs are scared away, but um, especially these predator dinosaurs um, aren't uh, really scared of, of flames, and other players um, see can see flames basically for miles away, even when you're. Um, like I'm here um, in the, the very thick foliage on top of a hill. Really, fire ma uh, let's, uh, makes you stand out. So, it seems to be getting a little bit foggy. I'm currently ordering my, my resources because I'm, I have basically um, more. Uh, you can't stack. I think more than 20 um, resources in in one of these baskets that you can um, pull. So I'm making a second one so that I have one for uh, for my wood and one for my stones. I built those, these all into the huts because when you get, when you're getting killed, you'll respawn here and you need immediate access to resources because if the killer is still around. And this happened to me quite often. You will basically get ganked over and over again because he thinks he think it's fu he thinks it's funny to kill you. I don't know. As you can see, one of the dinosaurs has again here got caught on this slope. But I haven't quite found out how to actually hit with these bowlers. I feel a uh, player once. And he goes down. So, more meat. Well, the the, the pretext of this whole thing is or the the, 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 the problem with on the with this whole thing is that it normally when you have meat Bigger predators should be lured here because they can smell the, the the blood. So that basically means that you have to to be fast um, to get the meat and then get the hell out of there. As you can see, I'm always checking around because I've had so many players sneak up on me. Uh, in the, my other game, I had. Basically, I wanted to um, simply just just tr try the the concepts out. So I basically when w that this is how the, the I, I met the other two guys. I I had a, my my hut down at the beach, and I have had all the the resources. I didn't use um, pull uh, put in a giant basket. So I was a, I was willing to share with them and. We, as I said, I think we, I had these two guys that basically that came up and we build a, we build our huts together, build a totem and everything, and and worked a little bit together. But there were so many people that are that were trying to to um, stalk us or trying to 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 kill us there. <laughs> I mean, we were three. That the chances that they would kill all three of us and at the same time still survive because we were basically respawning right next to them is minimal but people did it anyway because they thought oh look how cool I am I can kill three guys yeah you can kill three guys if they don't want to kill you and they're they're busy doing other things like building tools and trying to do figure out what to do besides oh it's the first per it's a third person shooter let's kill somebody um, yeah, so no interaction, perhaps I will do another video later on, um, so
go. There are actually fish in the in the ocean that you can hunt as well. And currently I'm looking around because normally on this beach there are players respawn to your left and to your right, so I'm a little bit conscious that somebody sees me. And I have to say I really dig the, the atmosphere here and the the art style as well because it's, it's simply even though you can't currently really change the options it's, it looks just awesome for me because with the, the, the high grass where you can um, duck into or this this basically what you're seeing all you're seeing of the of the enemy is, is the contouring here there's was some other German guy coming in so asking, is this PvP or is this PvE? But from, uh, as I have been killed on this server as well one time um, beforehand, I was simply saying, okay, look, I don't know, for me it's not PvP, but there seem to be enough people here. So, he immediately disconnects because he, he has a re enough of this as, as well, so... And the problem really is because if if you're going around killing yourself, then you ca you don't have the uh, enough resources um, to actually tackle the, the higher uh, level stuff here. Like if you, if you're, you if you have a mount and go hunting with that. Um, when I looked up a, a minute ago, you actually could probably see that um, there was were big stars right above, um, especially big stars right uh, right above me. Those represent um, big uh, dinosaurs in this uh, on this island. There you can see. Build a build a torch because I wanted to sh to see if anybody was around here because normally. Nothing is, is is a better magnet for, for other players than, than fire at night. So I put, uh, put the torch down there. And I'm hiding on this rock here to see if I can see any movement in the distance. There seems to be another torch down there, but I'm, I won't check it out because much the same as I have here, um, it normally just indicates a trap. So, the big stars um, above me indicate the big dinosaurs and um, their location on the island. So, this basically means that you can basically look at the at the, uh, at the stars and, uh, and use them to track um, the dinosaurs and to see if um, two of the di big dinosaurs are converging. Because if they are converging, they there could be a fight, and you could basically go there and. Uh, scavenge some some food from them, some meat. And what I found, we, you currently only have text chat here, but, but um, if you really want to to achieve anything in in this um, game, especially in a tribe, you you have to be on voice comms because basically text comms it's it's just too too slow. If somebody is, is sneaking up on you, you ha you have to warn your other guy, um, players immediately, or um, if you see a, a, a dino, if you have to, yeah, or even a dino like that down there, um, you have to t uh, tell them immediately and if you have to, to use the text uh, chat then type it in and then, then fire it away, it's 
it's just way too clunky and way too um, way too slow for this. You can hear basically there are different dinosaurs all around that you can hear. And basically what you can all as well um, inspect every um, tree here and every rock and everything and um, it, the game will tell you if there was a dino nearby here or, or not. You can see here basically I'm um, taking so, uh, taking some logs down here to this um, to this this quarry of mine, where I get some some more rocks, and I'm going to build myself a spear because I don't have a spear right now. There you can see one of the other guys has died with extra T30, which is quite okay, but that immediately lets me know that there could be a player around here, which makes me a little bit nervous. And there's another one dying with XC65, that's quite okay, that means basically he's built his own hut, he's killed a few, a few dinosaurs probably. So, I'm sneaking up on this one. And as long as you're you're lying on the ground and you're not moving, even in the, in daylight, and if if there's some grass around, um, the this um, predatory and um, dinosaur um, has a hard time spotting you only um, if he basically walks right into me. There you can see it again. Um. This basically means that you can evade most of them, only if you if you try to to sneak away and or you you're somehow surprised by them, uh, which can happen. Um, basically, um, you you're basically quite safe um, from being killed. So. This is normally something you sh or shouldn't do. Should never uh, chop some log um, from this side of the of the tree because basically it leaves your back open all the time. back around here a little bit, doing a little bit of a bigger loop. And what what I have seen um, already is that when you you're inspecting your tippy here, there's a there's an info display that you that you could have slept in this tippy. I haven't I haven't quite figured out how, now um, how to sleep in this tippy. Probably is is some kind of um, our server option that basically lets you save uh, and log out here. Um, to make it uh, to to make it more persistent because right now. 
when the player is logging out, you basically are uh, you're done for. It. It's basically all the stuff you have built disappears into stuff from from scratch when you're logging back in. So it's still in the very early alpha um, state, but it um, runs pretty okay on uh, for my taste. It, it didn't crash for me in all the time I played and played this like probably now six and a half hours. No. Watching the dino there. Which is one of the herbivores. I haven't really figured out this bowler thing. I'm not quite sure if it if if I hit them wrong, if I hit them at all. And it's one of this is one of the things the game doesn't really tell you anything to begin with partly because it's an alpha partly be, um, I think at least um, because it's it's kind of the the charm of the um, of this game right now because there's no manual. There's there's no help. There's ne uh, there's nothing. So basically, you have to figure out everything you um, yourself. I figured out this myself. I've um, you have to figure out how much um, resources you need for the different stuff here. As you can see, I'm putting some meat um, on my fireplace. This is what I I was telling you about. If you start a fire, you see it immediately. It's really like a big beacon. And these these herbivores are actually they are afraid of fire. So if you have a, a torch or anything, um, they will run away. While the the other ones that charge you they basically <laughs> that was my first mistake I, I made a I made a torch and I was like okay look I have fire look at me I've made fire um ran up to to the first dinosaur the first dinosaur turned tails and and ran away and the second dinosaur was one of the chargers <laughs> he basically pummeled my ass so yeah you learn from your mistakes As I said, uh, what I really want to try out um, next is, is to see if I if you find a a group of guys here that are basically um, that work together, and if you work together, um, what you can achieve uh, when you go hunting deeper in, into the island, because basically this seems to be more or less the the beginner area. The beginner area and deeper inland you'll find the bigger critters and basically have to to really know what you're doing and I'm currently I'm still trying to find all the, the um, different stuff that I uh, that you can build and how to use it Ouch. 
and he's dead. Which I can't really see because he's in the shadow. I have no light. Um, what I've basically saw, uh, seen here in the Air Force, it, it's basically the same thing that people said about DayZ. It's, it's, it shows you um, this kind of an, an, exper an experiment in human nature and it basically shows you that there are a lot of players for every player that is actually um, interested in in um, achieving something cooperatively and trying to to help each other out there are at least two or three that simply treated this as a doggy dog world and okay let's let's kill everybody else and look I'm the coolest because I have the most killed even though you accomplish absolutely nothing and the only thing you do there um, with that is actually get people interested in taking their revenge on you which in turn will um, basically make you lose all the stuff that you actually have um, achieved until then. Because all the tools in this game as well, all the tools, everything that you have here, it's all gone then. You have to start from, from zero again. Which is especially if you, if you have, have all the tools collected like I have now, it's something that's really annoying because you have to... You, to find all the materials again, have to, to to harvest all the materials and stuff. No, I'm still not done with the bowlers. So, prepare to see attempt number 427, shortly followed by failure number 427. Oh! Perhaps I'm not trying the boiler thing again. As you can probably have seen in the lower um, left corner, another player or uh, just died, so I'm. Going back here to my lookout to see if I can see any players. Ah. I think I have a new bowler test subject. And I found that you can basically, with the, especially with the dinosaur, with these dinosaurs, you can um, sneak up on them from behind. Oh, there's a predator down there. And basically, um, I just saw this in a, in a video that the developer just posted, where he basically bowled one of the of the smaller um, dinosaurs, and then um, basically gave him food to eat, gave him some fish, and as you can see, I'm not really good at this. Um, and basically, uh, what he did, he g gave him some food, and after he gave him some food, he could um, mount the uh, the thing and basically use it as a um, as a horse or whatever you want to call that, a rideable. Let's call it a rideable. And I have company here. I can't actually see where he is, so. And you have to really... No. Still not. No.
Um, and basically, once you have uh, you have him as your your um, convinced that he's, he's your rideable, um, you basically can tie uh, have a rope um, on him and can actually use it um, to tie him to a uh, to a tree and knee uh, near your house or to, to some tree. Yeah. Um, so you see, as long as you're standing still, you can actually get fairly close to these. And I, I think that especially when, because they are quite fast, as you can see, it, it it's probably quite beneficial if you if you have one of these, especially when you're going hunting in uh, in the, uh, the more inner part of the island, because a um, most of the larger predators can um, hunt you down because you're faster than them, and just to to you. You can see here. I'm. Um, if you're normally running around here, um, it takes quite some time to actually go uh, get somewhere. And from what I've seen, this island is really, really large. So. I hope you enjoyed this first video of the Stomping Land. I'll see if I can find something else. And this is happens when you're... No. This was a good one, but there's a second one. And now I'm in trouble. Because there comes his brother. Once hit him, yes, and I'm... I've killed him, but... I have died in the, uh, as well, and unfortunately, right now you can't be revived even if you have clansmen next uh, or nearby. So, thanks for watching, and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.